Welcome back to Artec. In today's video, we're going to compare the GM and the Atomberg exhaust fans with BLDC motors and find out which is the best. So here we go. First of all, Happy New Year to all those watching my video. Thank you so much for all your support. From what I know, GM is a new entrant in the BLDC market. The fan looks new too. Both these are 200 mm, so they're pretty big sized exhaust fans for your kitchen or your bathrooms. So we're going to find out what exactly differs in these two. And the atom bug looks really big. And surprisingly, the box inside was also big. So which means I think the fan itself is bigger, even though both are 200mm. You can make out, the, I mean, the frame looks like it's got a bigger overall design. And both of them have shutters at the back as well. Both these are power saving fans. The Atomberg calls it Efficio and this one's called the Clino from GM. That's a new launch, I'm guessing. I've never seen this in the market. So the size wise, I mean, this is really worrisome because you need to have a bigger cutout if you have a bigger fan. So in case you're planning to put the Atomberg fan, make sure that you have a bigger cutout. And I ran into a lot of problems while putting this on. So let's find out what exactly is the difference. Uh, first of all, let's look at the packaging, what they mention here. So BLDC motor is supposed to be efficient. This one consumes about 16 watts of power and it's got an easy to clean front grille. Supposed to be silent, we'll find out later. It's got a shutter at the back, obviously it shuts down whenever the fan is off. So two year warranty, it's got dual ball bearings and a copper motor. BLDC again, Atomberg is known, no, known to make good BLDC fans. So the GM on the other hand, I like the box itself. It's really compact. Design is very traditional, like an axial exhaust fan. And remember exhaust fans consume anywhere between, you know, 16 to 32 watts. This one consumes just five watts and it's got 25 months of warranty and rust proof body, they claim because this is fully plastic. So obviously there's nothing to rust. So five watts of power consumption. And that's uh, surprising. I mean, I don't know whether the motors are actually gonna have so much of torque, but we'll find out. Yeah, so um, yeah, there is a shutter at the back and uh, yeah, it's got a mosquito net, which is already built into the fan. So that's a good feature. And it's also got an indicator light, which is really unique to this particular fan. So on the other sides, looks like nothing much is mentioned on the boxes. Obviously, Atomberg has been in the market for a long time. Let's open it up and find out what's inside. So there is a plastic covering. The fan is big, so yes, it's pretty sizable. And that's the easy to clean grill which they're talking about. And overall, I think the frame design is uh, looking very nice. Warranty card and a small instruction manual is included. There are also some fitting screws. These look like they're made of uh, MS, and it's not SS. The fan's pretty lightweight, even though it's big. And that's the shutter design at the back. It's protected by the tape that comes out new and looks pretty okay. The wires are about, uh, say, half a meter long. And let's see what's written at the back here. So yeah, 16 watts. This one consumes about 16 watts. It's got a wide operating voltage, 140 to 235, so that's 265, sorry. Okay, here's a GM fan. That's uh, This one's got some sort of a beading which they've given, which is really nice. Maybe if you want to fix it on something like glass, it helps you. And similar kind of packaging, it's plastic covering. And overall, design-wise, this is really small and traditional. So this is something uh, which could probably fit easily in most of the places. It's got a user manual again, just like Atomberg, they give you a separate uh, warranty card as well as an insta instruction manual. A powerful PLDC motor, we'll find out about that. Okay, and uh, if you're in all the things you need. So this is a traditional design as we can see. There's an indicator light, which is unique to probably any exhaust fan. I don't think any of the exhaust fan comes with an indicator light. This one's got one. Let's look at the side profiles. So here you can see that uh, width wise, you know, it looks like there is a slightly longer snout for the GM fan as compared to the squarish Atomberg. At the back, you can see that the cutout is actually circular, whereas the Atomberg has actually got a square cutout. 
just to show you the size dimensions look at the difference i mean it's almost another easily one and a half inches price wise Atomberg is cheaper 2379 versus 2975 almost 600 bucks more for the gm fan but look at the airflow it's nearly thrice of the gm fan and i like the mesh which is already built in so this kind of helps you with bug protection you don't have to do anything else so Adam Buck doesn't have that the wire again about half a meter what's written at the back of the fan here it says 6 watts 1750 rpm there's no rpm mentioned for the official model the Adam Buck one but that will do about 1700 rpm I guess I think I saw it on the website about 1700 but the 6 watts and you know I, I'm really trying to understand how, how are they running this fan at 6 watts and this one is 16 watts it's about 10 watts more Another final look let's open this up and find out how the blades are designed inside so apparently for the gm fan you need to use a screwdriver because there is a small screw so that is the screw which you need to loosen and once you do that you can just pop this outer cover open yeah and yeah so you can see the small little mesh there kind of really helps you keep out small insects and there's also an indicator light as I mentioned, there's a neon bulb there. Fan design is very unique. This has got a three blade fan and that's the bulb. Close a look. I don't know which color it is, but yeah. So this one has, okay, let me open up the atom bulb. This one's got five blades. And this is more like, you know, a traditional design. Whereas this one, three blades, that's it. That's all the GM has, three blades, but it's got a much bigger angle to it as compared to your Attenberg fan. So that might be the difference maker. So powered up both the fans. That's the blue indicator light. Actual sounds coming here. I mean, this is actually being tested as we speak. So it's actually kept outside. So there are a lot of other sounds from the background, but just want to give you a feel of how these fans are working. There is a lot of noise from the Adamberg fan, obviously because it's about 16 watts, so it's actually throwing in more air as well. Whereas uh, the GM fan is absolutely quiet. But at the same time, it feels like there's not enough push from the GM fan. It's just my observation. We'll do some basic checking. Okay. This is not scientific, so I've just hung a plastic bag to kind of see what happens to which fan. So let's test the first fan over here. Okay. Not a very good experiment, but yes, there is a little bit of movement. So that shows that it's got quite a lot of throw. I mean, I can even see the plants moving in the background. So that looks like it's effective now for the GM fan so let's see what happens over here let's turn the fan on do you notice how slow the shutters open up so yeah this takes much longer to kind of open those shutters as well and it's not even open fully because uh, there's not enough torque in that motor and even the plastic isn't really moving but there is airflow yeah so now when i open the shutter a little bit so it's already loose i mean but uh, it's not really throwing a lot of air out so a slight movement the plant's not moving so just to show you which is more powerful obviously the five to six watt motor is not going to do much so some indoor sound check, running both these fans side by side. I like the blue indicator though, just to also show you the measurements. So this one's got about uh, a seven inch diameter as compared to the fan area I'm looking at 
is about 8 inches. So this fan is actually throwing out a lot more air but it's definitely more noisier. So that's one disadvantage of the Alamode fan. Anyway, uh, here's another small test. So I'm just going to keep the warranty card of the GM or the instruction manual in front of these fans. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, there's so much of talk from this Atomberg fan. Whereas, you know, there is breeze from the GM fan, but it's very, very gentle. So you never know. I mean, the GM fan could be designed to run, you know, for a longer period, probably. Whereas the Atomberg fan can do the same work what the GM fan is doing in a shorter duration, which means uh, it's faster, consumes more power, but then, you know, you don't have to run it for a longer time. Whereas the GM fan could probably be kept on for a longer time because it's just going to consume about 6 watts. Maybe that's the logic. So just to install this Atomberg fan, you know, we had to do a lot of cutting. Thanks to my dad, he just helped me cut that grill. And finally got it installed in this opening in the window here. They do give you fixing screws. I didn't need to use that because this was a snug fit. And then, you know, I put my own bug mesh on it and I install it into the wall. It works fine. This is the actual noise coming from the fan. So that was my short compare review with the GM Clino and the Atomberg Efficio exhaust fans. So these will save power and it's a good decision to have these installed because they run for a longer period sometimes and we don't notice how much power they consume. That's it for me for this video. So please hit the subscribe button if you haven't. If you have, thank you so much. Hit the like button, share it with your friends and I'll continue to make more such videos for you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.